What's up guys? So, it's been a while since I've uploaded anything. Um, reason why, I've just been kind of super busy doing my own stuff and getting caught back up and getting a rhythm of having an actual schedule so that I can produce videos for you guys in concession that are worthwhile. And uh, <clears throat> I'd be glad to tell you that we have made a lot of headway, although you haven't seen it, but it's all coming. So, clearly, by the title of this video, you guys know what's going on already. But this is one of those things I figured I would just kind of take out and I'll post this first because this had to be done so that I can continue doing what I'm doing and it's information that we all need, right? So here's my Skunk 2 um, Pro Intake Manifold. It's old school. I've had this for years, but it's always done me good. I had a 70 millimeter throttle body, but I never port matched it. So one of the things going ahead in this build, I was going to paint this guy and go through it. I needed to port match this. Very simple, there's plenty of videos, I think Skunk 2, everybody has one, I don't even know who's going to watch this, but I'm going to go over it quick and dirty for the guys like us that you know really don't have the carbine bits or all the expensive tools to get the job done. So, first things first, you'll mount your throttle body and your gasket, or your gasket and your throttle body on, you'll open the throttle blade, and you'll make this outline, if you guys can see, it's kind of dirty, but that red line. that we're gonna have to take out to port match it, right? Pull the throttle body and the gasket off. If you already had it together, just go ahead and open it up and make the mark, then pull it off. After we've gotten that off, and we know that our mark is clean and ready to go, what I like to do is I use my air Dremel, or die grinder, whatever you wanna call it. Um, and I use these little abrasive heads. And you can get these the set at Harbor Freight for like $20. Comes with the Arbors, comes with all the bits, everything you need. This one's been laying around. We've done some cylinder heads and everything with them. We got a bunch of these laying around. So I just went ahead and scooped those up and marked that out. I'm gonna get to port in this and I will show you guys the after result. The reason I'm not taking you all the way through with it and that we're inside the house right now, it's real loud. We got construction and stuff going on outside. So figured I'd just bring it into a quiet spot and then we'll go ahead and put on a time lapse. Um, while you're taking the material, make sure you don't go in one area and just dig deep, because what that's gonna do is leave you with a crater that's actually gonna make the, when you get to it, it's gonna skip, right? So try to go as even as possible, just go slow, take even amount of material from all sides, and you'll end up with a beautiful result that we'll see here in a couple minutes. So let's get to this time lapse. So, you see we got that all punched out, 70 millimeter, at least as close as I possibly could get it. I didn't want to go too much and not have like a perfect mating surface, but I think what I got is pretty good. So, uh, <laughs> skip a forward a couple of steps here. I've got it completely cleaned. I went ahead and I used some wrinkled black high temp paint just to give it that nice appeal. I think it'll be a lot cleaner looking than the uh, stock cast aluminum or whatever. I know that the air temp sensor, I did paint over it, but that's just a dummy. That way when I pull it out and I put the new one in, I didn't have to tape that area off. So coming back to the throttle body, got the gasket kind of put up here as best I can. That's not perfect, but you can see she's nice and matched up, boys. She's ready to pump some air. So now the next thing is actually getting over to the shop and getting this old girl installed. But that will be in the next coming video, or actually there's quite a few videos that will come into that part. Give you guys my input on how I do this. It's not the, uh, there's several different ways, just like doing everything. So you could use a carbide bit or whatever, what have you, but this works perfectly fine and I can't wait to get it on the motor. And now that this is going on, we can start mocking up some of the boost piping, get the turbo manifold and turbo on, 
mock up the hot piping. I mean, really that's all we gotta do other than the fuel system. And this car is gonna be ready to put down some jam and get on the track. So thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.